you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best no money spent team you can currently make. So, I, cur I typically update these about once a week to every two weeks, depending. I did do one about like six days ago, but we did get some more free players and some more poss potential possibilities when it comes to players that are coming out with Mutt 10 coming out tomorrow, too. So, I feel like this is a good time to update it for many of you no money spent guys. Who are probably waiting a video like this you guys do tend to love these videos because it does keep you guys updated so again i always have to reiterate the day one stuff because obviously not everyone is up to date people might just be getting the game now people might not be up to date so i like to go through this pretty i'll go through it pretty quickly every time i won't drag the beginning because obviously not everyone wants to hear the same things over and over again but i have to go through a majority of it such as objectives leveling up and playing the solos because obviously i like to go through exactly what you could have at this moment in time i do see some no money spent teams that are already in 87 overall it is not that hard to have a no money spent team this year typically i technically have a no money spent amount i've done all the no money spent stuff and i combine that with packs which is why my team is so good but i typically love to rely on the no money spent such as house rules house rules is a no money spent team's best friends house rules solo battles and weekend league no money spent best friend that's what you always want to rely on when you're building these teams now Guys, quick little intro if you haven't already, go down below, smash the sub button. If you've been enjoying the content and you watch many ways or you're new to the channel, drop a sub. You won't regret it. We're grinding to 8K and you won't want to miss that YouTuber subscriber special with someone that you like, you know, and you probably already can guess it. So stay tuned for that. It's around 10K subscriber special. And if we don't hit it by the time, by the time mark, it's all good because we're still going to do it anyways. But I greatly appreciate that. Now, also turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And drop a like on this video. Let's get this video to 300 likes. You guys love the no money spent videos. So if you want to show support for the channel, drop a like. I'd greatly appreciate that. Now, also, don't forget to comment down below if I miss anything. I do this video a lot, so I'll probably miss something considering. So no money spent day one. What's the first thing you want to do? First thing you want to do, go to the challenges. First thing you do is no money spent team. Now, the first thing you want to do is do assemble your team. I'm not going to go in depth on that, but all you got to do is get a certain amount of stars. You get the ultimate trainer pack. You, get the, you got to get the six tokens, I believe. And you got to take it to the collections and do the collection. And you can get a choice of Matt Ryan, Juju Smith Schuster, Tyran Matthew, um, J. Uh, what's it called? Marshall Lattimore. And I believe there's one more, but the best option there is probably Marshall Lattimore or Juju Smith. So take that as you will. Marshall Lattimore is one of the most athletic corners in the game right now. Decent in man. Now, the second thing you want to do, in my opinion, is NFL Epics. NFL Epics is pretty quick, it guarantees you with milestones three times gold player Nat, three times gold player Nat, three times gold player Nat. Baker Mayfield, three times gold player Nat, Deacon Jones, three time gold player Nat, and an elite player Nat. Now, the gold player Nats might not seem like a lot, but you can get at least out of those, which are Nat. I did pull my 88 powered up DeAndre Hopkins. Well, I didn't get him powered up, but I pulled 88 DeAndre Hopkins out of that. So it's possible you could pull like Khalil Mack, Jalen Ramsey's, Von Miller's, Odell Beckham Jr.'s, Julio Jones, Browns. You can pull anything out of those. So they're definitely recommended you play all the way up until the end. Considering you do get an elite player at the end, you do get an 86 Deacon and an 86 Baker Mayfield. Now, if you have already a better team and you don't need those cards, still do it because you could toss Baker Mayfield, Deacon Jones, and that Marshall Lattimore all into the 85 86 exchange set, which you can then get a free 87 to 88 overall player. So if you don't like them, you could just do what I did. I threw them in there, I did the thing, and I believe I got Tom Brady out of it. So you could just go toss them and you can get Von Miller, you can get Khalil Mack, Jalen, so on and so forth. So it's definitely worth it to do, even if you don't want those cards. Second thing you always want to do, Send it over to the Mutt Superstars. Play the milestones because you do get a free 84 to 85 and a free 89 to 90 and then a few 77 to 78 which you can sell for about, I think, altogether that will sell for about 18 to 20K. And then the 84 to 85 is really good because you can get players like Philip Lindsay, Anthony Barr, which I can recommend there, or Matt Paredes, which are three studs out of that. Alshon Jeffrey, Golden Tate. Philip Lindsay is a budget B, so if you're on a no money spent team, a great option at running back if you take that pack. Now, the 89 to 90 is awesome because you can get Gilmore, Mahomes, Demarcus Lawrence, Odell Beckham Jr., Luke Keekley, Harrison Smith, Zach Ertz. Uh, I'm probably missing some guys. But you guys get the point there. Awesome. To get an 89 to 90 for free, that's awesome. So the team's looking solid already. You got like 386 overalls. You got a must superstar. I highly recommend you also do the legend solos because tip when they come out though, when every week when a new legend comes out, you get their power for playing the solo challenge. So if you play both of them, their power typically sells for about 8 to 10k right away. And some even better, 15, 20. So if you play that the second it drops and you sell them every week, you could probably make a total of like 20 to 30k selling these every week. So over the course of a month, if you play every legend solo right when they drop and you sell them right away, you could probably make total close to like 100k just in selling those right away before they go down. 
Theme builders are a acquired taste. Uh, they're full seasons, but if you do play them, you do acquire some pretty good guys like 87 overall Darius Slay or 86 overall Darius Slay. Yeah, and they're, they're pretty good, but again, those are really long solos. So that's up to you. Now, the theme diamonds are very important. These give you a Nat Gold, a Nat Gold, three times Nat Gold, and Nat Core Elite, 84 plus Nat Gold, Nat Gold. Now, to get stars, if you guys already know, you play the solos, depending on the difficulty and the bonus challenges, you get more stars. So, you need a grand total of, I believe, 100 stars for the 84 plus. So the Nat Core League could again be anyone. The 84 plus could be a platinum card. You can pull like an 87 overall platinum quick sell card for like 250k. So there's so much potential and possibility out of these for no money spend team. So if you add it all up, you got the free mutt superstar, you got three 86 overalls, you got the Nat Core Elite, you got the 84 plus elite, you got a bunch of Nat Goals that could be even more elites. So don't sleep on any of these challenges. Now the journey, again, I haven't finished yet, but you do get an 88 overall Michael Thomas. So and you have your Tory Holt. So you can have Tory Holt, uh, Michael Thomas. That's already two solid outside receiver ones and twos for the price of free, just playing the game. So I highly recommend you guys take advantage of that. Now, to get to Tory Holt up and overall is what you probably want to be working on too, because I love my Tory Holt. He's one of my favorite cards in the game. And all it required was leveling up. Once you guys have your solos done, you guys are probably around a level 30 already, level 25, 30. The next thing you want to do is series one multiplayer wins. I mean, not series one multiplayer wins, sorry. You want to do mutt level your level is probably the most important thing you do as a no money spent team after you're done with all the solo challenges so if you get all the way to level 50 and if you don't have to get to level 50 i do have a video on my channel going over the fastest way to level up pretty much just grind out one solo throwing it 150 times whatever you want to do that solo because getting to level 50 guarantees you some great rewards just in gridiron packs and stuff you probably get like five total packs you probably get 120k in just coin quick sales you get an 87 to 88 power pass which is huge because that power pass can get you any of the top players in the game you can use that power pass to skip past a khalil mack a von miller a jalen ramsey a deandre hopkins a tom brady a bobby wagner and any of those amazing cards you guys want you also get an 86 to, uh, 85 to 86 power pass which can get you guys tons of guys like gilmore richard sherman ezekiel elliott julio jones odell beckham jr you also get 82 to 84s and 80 to 81s or 62 to 81s i believe it is which is awesome because that means you can pretty much get a grand total of like nine free elite players by tossing them into the power-ups which all you got to do is get a power-up card and then power them up to their overall and then use the power pass you also get level up packs and these level up packs if you buy them with coins or i mean training that one, I believe you could buy with coins or training. The one on the left is with money, but it's like a dollar two dollars. That pack guarantees you a platinum quick sell card. So it's pretty worth it because I believe if you buy all of them and you quick sell everything you got, you take the platinum card every time, which is recommended. You do get, I believe, about 350k just about worth of quick sell cards. Plus the quick sell collectibles you get, that's about like 500k. Plus all the coins you get from leveling up, all the packs and everything. You can make between 500 to a million coins, 500,000 to a million coins just in leveling up to level 50 and then at level 50 you also get a full legend pack which again could be another 200 to 400k depending on who you pull so it is highly worth it that you guys do the level up grind now here we are with the newest stuff so limited time mutt 10 and house rules mutt 10 right now is a great great promo because it drops a limited time top tier legend so last week's was bo jackson so for a no money spent team what i'd recommend here is that you go about and get their power of cards so they did drop a bo jackson now obviously no money spent team can't afford bo jackson for 1.5 million coins but you could go get his power up card for like 6k or play his solo challenge guys which i recommend for no money spent team play the solo challenges every week from friday through sunday there will be a limited time mutt 10 solo challenge if you play it on easy difficulty and just finish once you get two stars you get one collectible every week now if you missed one week that really sucks because now you can't get it but if you get if you do it every week please do not forget at the end of 10 weeks, which is about the first week of November, you will be getting a free limited time fantasy pack Mutt 10 players. So those Mutt 10 players, to give you guys some predictions, going to be Bo Jackson as already one. We get one tomorrow. We probably get like a Calvin, maybe a Randy Moss, a Deion Sanders, a Michael Vick. So imagine if you just play solo challenges for free once every week, takes no time at all, takes like 15, 10, 10 to 15 minutes, and you play those all the way through every week, you will be acquiring a free 90 overall plus limited time legend on your team so another thing you could do off of this is that they come with power-ups because these cards do have power-ups obviously so if you can't afford those cards you go to the auction block or you play the solo you get the free bo jackson now you power up that bo jackson to an 88 overall you could probably come up to like an 89 overall he's the fastest running back in the game one of the still the best running backs in the game he just can't get all of his abilities obviously but if you want to have a pretty cheap and amazing running back that you can't afford you can just get his power up same thing with lawrence taylor for no money spent i think that's one of the best cards you can get power up lawrence taylor to an 88 overall one of the best no money spent cards in the game 
So that overall right there is amazing. Now house rules is key. You guys have to be playing house rules. House rules every week guarantees us an amazing reward, such as if we got a free superstar player, a free core elite fantasy pack, and then we got a free theme diamond. So if you add all this up, we got 386 overalls, a bunch of free elites, a legend pack, 500 to a million coins worth of players. I mean, a worth of uh, coins. We got power passes of free base elites. We got free theme diamond, free Mutt Superstar 89 to 90. So you now have two Mutt Superstars, by the way. You got one from the solos and you got one from house rules. You also get a free base elite, which I took Jalen Ramsey, but the options are Jalen Ramsey, Von Miller, and I believe there was Julio Jones is like the best three. Now, I'd recommend you take Ramsey or Von Miller there. You also can do by getting trophies from house rules. You go over to the store to competitive currency and you can use that to go to get yourself a free Nat Von Miller, which is what I have right here. And you can also get a John Madden coach and a John Madden coach collectible. So there's so much you could do as a no money spend team. I think this is the best year for it. Now, house rules is indeed over for the week, but remember that I think it I think it just ended. So, but you want to be on top of that. So usually between Tuesday and Thursday, the free theme diamond this week, I got uh, Corey Schlesinger, which is the fullback for the Lions, which I was very happy about because typically for even a no money spend team, you want to be efficient, right? You don't want to pull cards that you're not going to use. So let's say you get Autogram 89. Like that's cool for like a week, but obviously Autogram's not going to be your quarterback all year. So for me personally, as a guy who likes to be efficient with my coins, I'm very happy I got the fullback because I won't buy a fullback. I would have preferred a fullback, a defensive tackle, or a kicker because those are three positions I won't buy. So I'm happy to have a top tier card at that position at this moment. So guys, pretty much end tips. And play your solos. Look, always check out the objective list. Be grinding out for Mutt Master Pat Tillman. Be grinding out for Tory Holt. And be leveling up for all the free rewards you get. Play your solos, like I said. Especially, don't forget every week to play your Mutt 10 solos. Make sure to take advantage of power-up cards of new limited time card because you can enjoy them for quite a while. And don't forget your house rules. House rules are huge. Like I said, with what we got this week, the free theme diamond could have been huge for your team, as is that. With If you did everything I said, everything I said in this video, you probably have a fully competitive competitive team you probably have like an 85 to 87 overall anywhere between there and if you strike big on some of the packs you could even have an 88 overall team the, the no money spent possibilities this year are endless i do think this is one of the best no money spent years to date they only get better with this every year also don't sleep on your solo battles or weekend league if you play solo battles in weekend league weekly even if you don't get too many wins in weekend league as long as you complete solo battles which is really easy just go look up a guide they're all over youtube you probably get between 200 and 300k from solo battles and weekend league per week no money spent team has never been easier, guys. I hope this did help you guys with building your no money spent team. I hope this even helps to any other user that needs to be on top of what they're doing to maximize the efficiency of getting coins and building a team while minimizing how many coins you lose. So, guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to smack the like button. Let's get this video to 300 likes. If you made it this far, might as well go down below and like it. Clearly, you liked it. And also, comment down below if I missed anything. Also, make sure to drop a sub on the video. Comment, go down below to the channel, click the sub button, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video just like this. And guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next time. Peace.